Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide, and I am here with Dalila Bella, who of course plays Diana Barry with uh, on Anne with an E, which I love on Netflix. Um, thank so you. thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. So this has been such a fun show and such an amazing opportunity for you. Um, how would you say you have changed as an actress from you know when you started until now, and it's finally over? Hmm. Well, it's been what three, four years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. There's a lot of things that I learned while I was on Anne. Like I got to horseback mm -hmm. ride, which is amazing. And it was just, I don't know, being able to be in that kind of Victorian setting mm -hmm. and kind of adopting the the manner of speaking and just putting myself in Diana's shoes and seeing life uh, in the 1890s through her eyes. Mm -hmm. I feel like that just. It, made me see a different per perspective in life and grow as an actress and harness my uh, my craft a little more over the past four years, I think, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so <laughs> let's talk about this season um, and specifically your relationship with Aunt Jo. So how would you say your relationship on the show with Aunt Jo really helped your character grow into, you know, the woman that we see by the end of the season? Well, at the start of season one, uh, Diana, she has like one path ahead of her, you know, the mm -hmm. path that her parents set for her, the path of being a good mother and a good wife. Uh, and then Anne comes into her life and opens up this new kind of way of thinking of, of, of ma imagination and adventure, but she still kind of sees this very set path and she's like, oh, the imagination is like a, a pastime, right? Mm -hmm. And then during season two, when she goes to Anne Josephine's summer soirée, she is presented with this this life that she could have, this life of, of, of a career, of not needing to be a wife if she doesn't want to be, not needing to be a mother if she doesn't want to be, a life of her own, mm -hmm. of her own choosing, that she does not need to follow the path of her parents. That's what Anne Josephine presents to her. And at first, Diane is very like uh, shocked and, and a little afraid because her entire worldview is being challenged. Um, but Anne Josephine presents this to her and is like, you can have this if you want. And then during season three, it's two years after those events. So she's been stewing with this idea that Andrew Steen present, presented to her for two years now. And she decides that, you know what, she's, she's going to try. She's going to try to be her own person. And yet again, and Josephine in 308, uh, Diana feels rather hopeless. She feels like she, no matter what she does, she can't, she has no choice ultimately. Yeah. And, and Josephine just kind of, again, pushes in her face and she's like, no, you can. Absolutely. You, know, you can if you want to. So, and Josephine is kind of like the catalyst for, uh, for Diana's arc uh, in becoming her own person and figuring out what she wants, mm -hmm. not just what her parents want for her. And we also see Diana this season have a very complex relationship with Jerry yes. and, you know, figure out the difference between lust and love. Um, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about, you know, your mindset behind playing that storyline and, and what that was like for you as a young woman, you know, that um, has lived in the world and has maybe experienced things like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, for one, I was very happy to work with AJ, who's my coworker who plays Jerry. He's a great friend of mine and a very talented young actor, and it was great. And it just, it's both very complicated and very, very simple, because throughout her life, Diana's been very restricted, mm -hmm. and she hasn't had much chance for freedom. And Jerry represented that. Jerry. Uh, was able to give her that freedom. She could laugh as loud as she wanted to. She could dance with wild abandon. She could chew with her mouth open. You know, she didn't have to be this proper, you know, prim princess that her parents were um, grooming her to be. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, due to uh, something that was very big at the time, which I personally do not agree with, but it was I, seeing through Diana's eyes, like a half, you have to acknowledge. Back then, the class thing was really big, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, unfortunately, due to Diana coming from a um, uh, her position in society and Jerry coming from his, the chasm that was created due to that was something that neither one really knew how to cross. And um, because of this, Diana realized that she was more attracted to the way that Jerry made her feel, mm -hmm. the, the freedom that he gave her rather than actually him. And while she liked him well enough, it wasn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't love, it was more, she was, she was in love with, with the freedom that he gave her, not necessarily him. Yeah. And so unfortunately, due to circumstances and, and the, uh, neither side really knowing how to make it work, uh, 
the relationship came to a rather painful end. Yeah. And what also is really special in the show is the very strong female bond that you have, of course, with Anne. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about, you know, developing that on screen um, and how that kind of could possibly relate to, you know, girls becoming friends today that are perhaps from, you know, different kinds of families or different cultures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the Beth and I actually had quite a few uh, talks about it off screen, about uh, Diana and Anne's relationships and about like uh, stuff that Diana and Anne experienced off screen, mm -hmm. um, such as like, uh, did Anne and Diana ever talk about Anne's you know past, mm -hmm. and how did um, Diana react to this? How did she help her? Did she not? And overall, the the, the way I've kind of always described uh, Diana and Anne's friendship is. Diana is the eyes to Anne's fire, and Anne is the spark to ignite Diana's match. Mm -hmm. So they complement each other, where Diana is more passive, Anne is wild, and where Anne is um, stubborn and reckless, Diana is the voice of like reason, is like, well, wait, maybe we shouldn't do this. And, and it's beautiful as well, because where Diana comes from a more rich, like, you know, the berries, Anne is from a a farm home and she is a hard worker and they both are able to show each other different perspectives of life while living in the same area mm -hmm. and it's yeah it's very beautiful and I feel it relates to to girls nowadays as well who just you gotta you can't judge people you gotta look at see who they are as people yeah and and that's that's why Diana and her friends because they see each other who they are not the 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 prejudices that are taught to them by society mm -hmm. that's beautiful I really <laughs> love that and it makes me uh, very sad that the show is no more yeah. um, tell me a little bit about what you know about why this cancellation happened because there's so many fans um, and and what your guys' reaction was when you found out I actually, uh, while we were filming the season, I wasn't aware that it was going to be cancelled, and I actually don't know much about why mm -hmm. it was cancelled. Um, but yeah, the, the fans' reaction is incredibly sweet. There's a whole Twitter campaign. Yeah, I know. All their efforts and all the billboards that they've set up in, in, in Toronto and New York to try and get Anne renewed. It's very beautiful and it's very sweet. And yeah, I was, I was a little shocked i guess when when the news was released when the news was released because it, on one hand you know it was you know four years of my life that i spent on this show you know i'm not going to do another season but also i'm excited for the new prospects on the horizon but there is that kind of, it's like bittersweet yeah you know? because it's like oh you know it, it's over but at the same time like hey you know you got to pick yourself up and keep going yeah and i mean in a perfect world where the show would continue where would you uh, like to see diana's character go hmm. well i would like to go further down that path of her because at the end of season three we left off with the the berries uh mr and mrs berry um choosing to support diana in her uh path to, for higher education and for um attaining a degree and being herself more so i think i think where i would like to take that is yeah it's just further exploring diana's more not exactly rebellious but kind of rebellious the the going against what is expected of her and mm -hmm. her figuring out more um who she is and possibly possibly even finding someone that sees that in her you mm -hmm. know finding someone who um accepts her for who she is and actually pushes her to to grow and become more of the woman that she sees herself as that she wants to be than just like oh no you know you're you're a woman you shouldn't be doing that it's like no you are your own person you are amazing you should be yourself so yeah that's kind of where i would like for that arc to go is just completely um pushing that that arc even more mm -hmm. to see diana because at, at the end of season three um she has grown a lot in confidence and a lot more in who she wants to be. But even then, you know, it's 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 still she's still growing. She's still learning. So I think I would like to see that in season. If we did have a season four, that's where I would like to see. Yeah, I mean, listen, fingers crossed. Hey, even for a spinoff, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Diana going to college, having her own life. I would love to see that. That'd be really cool. Well, you know, never say never. Nothing is ever really over. So you know, do you have? just like a little tinge of hopefulness that this could be picked up somewhere else? 
make, who knows? Yeah. Who knows if life is full of surprises and small miracles happen every day, so. Yeah. So keep tweeting. What's the hashtag? Uh, there, uh, I think it's save. Um, save Anne with an E or mm -hmm. renew Anne with an E. Yes. Those are some of the main ones. Yeah. yeah. So guys, if you feel passionate about this like we do, hop onto Twitter and do that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for being here. Mm, and it's my pleasure. Make sure to binge all the seasons there on Netflix <laughs> and, you know, just watch them over and over again until we get some good news. Well, thank you and best of luck with everything. Thank you so Thanks. much. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.